Today, we travel from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, to Denmark to do some medium format film photography out in the wilderness and also in Copenhagen, which is a city. This is nice, right? Check, check. Teachers love checks. Here we are at the Air Canada Lounge doing a mic check. We're going to see what's on the menu today. I'll, do, I'll even do a screen record. You can have the full immersive experience of ordering lunch here. This menu looks good. Buffalo chicken taco, butter chicken, Parmesan spinach gnocchi. Let's see what the special is. Cauliflower soup with tender pieces of cauliflower. You know what? I'm going for the kids option. Pepperoni pizza. Looks absolutely terrible, but uh, here we go. It's, it's so weird. You just order it. You just hit the, hit the button and it's on its way. We're on our way to Copenhagen and Marshall really hates the fact that I have the... There's a bird in here. There's a bird in here? Marshall, how are you feeling with the day so far? You're using it wrong and you should feel bad. And we're going to get some snacks on snacks up in, up in here. And uh, welcome to the video. This bird is very, very used to people. Marshall's getting incredibly close to it. A feast. I feel like a Roman king right now. All right, first up, got the kids' pizza. It smells exactly like a pizza you would have as a child. Here we are in Copenhagen, just arrived. And uh, sticking with the Accidental Series sponsor, which is BMW, we keep getting upgraded to BMWs regardless of what we book every single time. But I'm excited about this. This is a diesel. It's a, it's a wagon. It's the Grand Touring Edition. I don't know. I don't do car reviews on YouTube, but if I did... We're going to Sonoma. We're going to Noma first thing. Yeah. Noma for lunch. Noma for, for breakfast. Uh, I've known Renee for a long time, so I figure we should go. So just give him a call anytime we're in town and uh, he'll get us a spot. So uh, they've just released their winter menu. If you don't know Noma, it's the best restaurant in the world. Uh, actually the best restaurant in the world. So uh, we're gonna head over there. Hey, it's Taylor calling. Uh, we met in Vegas a bunch of years ago. Uh, yeah, the, there was, I think we were at Aria, there was a guy rolling a bunch of yo's. Yeah, you said to, to just give you a call uh, any, any time that we're in Copenhagen and you, you can get us a table. No, no, we we've, we've, we've for sure hung out. We, we went to the, what is it, beach club at um, XS, I guess, at, at Wynn. David Chang fell in the pool. No, nah, man, we for sure hung out. Unfortunately, he's, uh, he's out of the country right now. Yeah, maybe, maybe next time. And while that's a bit disappointing, it's okay. We decided to head on into Denmark and we literally opened up a map and found a spot that looked like it was kind of in the middle of nowhere and found a hotel near there and just went for a two and a half hour drive. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. We've arrived at our hotel and I'm going to load some Portra 400. It's a Portra 400 day. I feel like this scene, these buildings, the Christmas trees, maybe not, but everything else, I feel like it, it's just a Porsche 400 day. So I'm going to load this into the Mamaya Mamiya Papaya 7 2. I have the 65 millimeter lens on here, which means it's roughly kind of almost, um, I don't know, you divide it by half basically, and you get your focal length or your full frame equivalent focal length. I like to shoot a 35 millimeter lens. My go to lens for weddings or portraits uh, on my second camera body is always going to be a 35 millimeter lens and when we're out here creating nice pretty things i think 35 is pretty nice as well What a build. Also on the front, you'll notice here that I have a one quarter black pro mist. It's a filter that you screw onto the front of your lens and it makes it feel like it's a little bit more of a foggy morning. So we're cheating a little bit. I'm um, just diffusing the light as it goes through into the, into the film. I really enjoy 
Um, the soft feeling of photos, not out of focus, but I enjoy softer photos in general. Uh, so that's kind of what we're trying to do here uh, with a little bit of help from, from the optics. There's a lot of good options for photos. Really incredible property and super happy we picked it randomly out of a Google map that we were just like, let's go this way to the ocean. And this lady's car? Jeez. Not parked in the best spot, but I didn't want to ask her to move it. The next morning, we awoke to a surprise. A breakfast surprise. And this became an ongoing trend at all of the hotels we stayed at in Denmark. Uh, also, this wheel here you just make your own cheese slices isn't that fun is it better than shooting medium format film i don't know but it's cool back in copenhagen met up with our friend sam hurd sam was actually my wedding photographer also Lindsay was part of that wedding too but Lindsay and i getting married sam taking the the wedding photography images and uh we decided it'd be fun to just give him this camera never having shot it before and just see what he could do. So I started editing this segment and realized that it is a full standalone video on its own. Sam gives so much good feedback of his process as well as uh, we ended up doing a shoot where Sam and uh, our friend Ryan photographed each other. Ryan's an incredible film photographer as well. And uh, yeah, it definitely makes its own video. So look forward to that on the channel and subscribe if you're not subscribed and don't forget the like button. I feel like that covers all the, the YouTube stuff that I need to talk about in the video. Wait, no, I think you're supposed to smash the like button or something like that. So, so I've been told. I don't, I don't, it seems aggressive. So that is all for part one of our film photography trip so far here in Denmark. We will be heading up north uh, to the northern region. That's kind of the, I guess, cottage region of Denmark. And we're here definitely off season in the winter, but it was still a very incredible experience. And there is a lot of great film photography to come. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again another time. Maybe turn the bell on. There's a lot of calls to action on, on this YouTube thing today. You don't have to do all of them, maybe just do pick one, pick one.